The idea for Delirium came after I read a Gabriel Garcia Marquez essay in which he was talking about the fact that, you know, all good books kind of are about two central themes, death and love. So the next day I went to the gym and it was during one of these big panics over swine flu or bird flu, I no longer remember what it was. And I was on the treadmill and I was running and I was thinking about that you know, a quote by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, and I was thinking about love, 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 love. And I was also watching this news report of this panic, this flu epidemic, and I was thinking, wow, it's so weird how people just go into panics about these diseases. I mean, you could basically make it people believe that anything was a disease. I mean, you could even make a love, 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 and it was like my two hemispheres, like the ideas got collided, and I was like, you could make love a disease and convince people of that. So that's where the idea came from. I decided to set Delirium in Portland, Maine, and for some reason it really spoke to me as this environment that's bounded. It's bounded by water, and so it kind of geographically feels somewhat closed off. It seemed like a place, I mean, in Delirium, the cities are, are all enclosed in various fences in, in America. Um, so it seemed like a place that geographically would both be kind of easy to contain but also border on this incredible wilderness, on this expanse uh, which is in delirium called the wilds. If I lived in a society in which delirium takes place, I would like to say that I definitely would have escaped to the wilds. Um, but I think it is, it becomes very, very easy to inherit ideas that are given to you by your elders and by teachers and by the government and, um, and kind of just to absorb those attitudes as your own um, and to be afraid of the things that people tell you to be afraid of and to, you know, believe in the things that people tell you to believe in. So I'm not sure. I mean, you know, I would like to think of myself as an independent thinker and somebody who'd be brave enough to really go against the current of what everybody else was thinking if I felt that it was wrong, but it's really hard to know, I guess, until you're in that situation. Mm -hmm.